So whatever arises in your meditation somehow must be it. You know, it's a kind of I don't know. It was a surprise when I realized that I thought that the whole job of meditation was sweeping, cleaning the mirror, sweeping the mind away, getting calm. And it will have that effect, but that sort of side effect, really, is to meet the old familiar face. and somehow recall the elegance of ancient days. So we can tell that it must be all right now, even if I don't recognize <laughs> the ancient face. You know, it's okay. I recognize the face from long ago, you know, the familiar face. It's okay. What if that were true? What if now was not a burning ship you needed to abandon, but a welcoming glade. It's yours. It's the only now we have. <laughs> we, we might as well damn well enjoy it. You know, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> and sometimes it's kind of intense, but you know, it's real. You know, I must say, I kind of didn't. I sort of disapproved of people getting COVID and dropping out of the retreat. Not, not of them, but of, I, was, I found myself disapproving of reality, like, how dare it? And, and uh, we're having this wonderful retreat. And, uh, and then I was talking to one of the other teachers who's teaching there, and, and, uh, we, and, he, uh, and I said, you know, I'm beginning to enjoy this. It's kind of, we're not going to be able to do all the great things we normally plan and manage and, you know, and, uh, he said, yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll, have to make, we'll have to make do. <laughs> and the people holding the retreat are all like, they're of course all nervous and don't want to do us, all, us to do all these things we're just going to do anyway. But um, just because they're part of Sashin. But it's sort of rather, it's rather fun to think God knows how we'll pull this off. But I like it. You know? It's nice to have everything you know taken away. And still somehow recall the elegance of ancient days. You know. Still somehow recall the elegance of ancient days. So whatever your condition, uh, somebody just, I know, well, just sort of said that, you know, her back is bad and she's got to meditate lying down. And I thought, that's great. What a great thing to meditate lying down, you know. And it, it can be that, like I had a friend who, I said, well, I can't come to Sashin because I'm, I'm, he was dying of cancer, because I'm dying. And I said, well, what's wrong with dying at Sashin? And so we, <laughs> we, seemed like a good idea. And so we dragged his, a mattress in and oh, we had a whole bunch of like uh, Zabatons laid out. And, and uh, you know, we did w walking meditation behind him while he's lying down and meditating. It seemed a successful thing to do. He didn't actually die in the session because um, one of his caretakers panicked and took him off to hospital to die, which seemed like, you know, that was it too. That was all right too. But yeah, where you are is, is probably at peace. So just to say that, you know, where you are is at peace. And it's for you. You know, the old uh, koan that somebody says, why must it be this way, contemplating like, I don't know, the Ukraine or frogs tear it being torn apart by crows or, you know, um, the, the difficulty of the world, the genuine difficulty of the world. And the old teacher said, um, it's for you, honored one. And you, when he says honored one, you can tell that, oh, you're the honored one. You're the person on the path. You're the bodhisattva walking the path. And so you need to respect your own life and whatever's given to you. <laughs> a couple of days ago, um, I had this blazing, um, I woke up in the middle of the night with this blazing migraine-like headache and um, kind of
kind of impressive. I thought, you know, I was quite impressed by my headache. <laughs> and, and, uh, and I thought, oh, God, I'll never be able to do all these things I'm supposed to do tomorrow if I don't get all those thoughts cross through my mind. And, and um, the all wrong thoughts wanted to sort of start to come up. It's all wrong. It, this is wrong. And, and then I, I realized that was foolish. So then I started bearing it. Then I realized that was foolish. You don't no need to bear your life, you know. And so then I just turned and went into the fire, and it didn't. It, it didn't. I don't know what happened then, but I became at peace with it. That's what happened. And that's what happens if you but turn into the fire of your life. You'll be at peace with it, and you know. <laughs> Somebody once said to me, it's good enough for government work, you know. <laughs> it's like, that's what you can do, you know? <laughs> And there are other kinds, and that's the, ah, oh, you meet but don't recognize. It's all right not to recognize it at first, you know, and then it will gradually appear. There are other koans about meeting the peach blossoms and getting enlightened, things like that, which are the blaze of things. And the second koan, actually, I'll, maybe I'll talk about the second koan of this next time. Uh, uh, second koan of this is about meeting, waking up late, sleeping in, being very relaxed in that dark, and waking up and then seeing, seeing the world, seeing the mirror of the world, which is the mirror of your mind. So, uh, but at the moment, Every piece of the path is golden. If you're lost and confused, you can love that. You can turn into that. You can say, wow, isn't being lost better than being right? <laughs> and things like that. Anyway, they're fun, you know. So, so that, yeah, that, that, that. Still somehow recall the elegance of ancient days. Let's just sit a bit more with that, you know. Enjoying. If you're lost, enjoy it. Every time you discover something, in a way you're lost because what you knew previously isn't there. And so then it can be full of wonder. Awakening is, is in a way, being lost to what you knew wasn't possible, what you knew, all those things, you know how to do a retreat, <laughs> that sort of thing. Now we're finding out how to do a retreat. And each moment we're discovering, you're discovering your own true face, like here, 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 here. And you notice it's never there, <laughs> it's always here. <laughs> and if you messed up, you have to turn into the messed up, and if you're full of wonder, then you don't need to turn into that because it's already here. You know? But you'll notice that the wonder and the being messed up are, are different only, only you know, trying to shove one away. And this, the effort of shoving life away is tremendously painful and distorting and makes those around us lonely. <laughs> so. It's all right to have this life in all its impossibility. Don't think it's strange to meet and not recognize the other, an old familiar face. And still somehow recall, remember the elegance of ancient days.